Okay, costing seven, we got some Suvat for six marks, so pretty heavy. So a toy boat of mass 1.5 kilograms is pushed across a pond, starting from rest for 2.5 seconds. During this time, the boat has an acceleration of 2 meters per second squared. Subsequently, when the only horizontal force acting on the boat is a constant resistance force to motion, uh, the boat travels 10 meters before coming to a rest. Calculate the magnitude of the resistance to motion. Okay, very big question. So, we know the mass of the boat is 1.5 kilograms. Now, what we're going to do is calculate the velocity at the point when the boat stops being pushed. So, we know it's pushed for 2.5 seconds. We know it started at rest. So let's say for the first 2.5 seconds, we know that U was zero. We know acceleration was 2 meters per second squared and that's actually all that we know. So we can work out the final velocity of the boat at the point when it stops being pushed. So you're given all of the Suvat equations so what we want is V. So V is U at a T. So V is zero at uh, two times two point five. So V is five meters per second. Okay, so now then, uh, for the second part, so for the rest of, let's call it the voyage, because it's a ship, for the rest of the voyage, we are now starting with U, is 5, V is going to be 0 because the ship boat comes to rest, and we know the displacement S is 10. Now what can we do with all of that? Well, what we need to do, we're trying to find the magnitude of a resistant force. Force is mass times acceleration. So what we now need to do is find the acceleration of the boat in this part of the journey. So we're going to need to use Suvat twice. So first up we can find T using S is one half U and V times T. Uh, although, better idea, we could skip that and just use V squared is U squared add to A S. Much better idea. Right. So, V squared 
is u squared add to a s. So v is zero. U is twenty-five. Uh, five. So u squared is twenty-five. S is ten. So we get add twenty. A. So we can get that twenty. A is minus twenty-five. So A is minus twenty-five. Over twenty, which gives us minus five over four. Okay, so that is our acceleration, which is actually deceleration, which we knew because the boat is coming to rest. So. Now we know that the resistance force is, well it's mass, so 1.5, let's call it 3 halves, times minus 5 over 4. Now that is going to be minus 15 over 8. Now the magnitude, let's call it R, is positive. So that's positive 15 over 8 newtons, which is 1. Point eight seven five newtons. Go. Cool.